there's a lot of um, protection on the data. There's a lot of, um, in, in the industry that we are, commercial real estate, um, the data is, you know, so much in silo um, that, you know, it makes it difficult to see the full picture and get insight sometimes. Um, and I think those need to break because we're getting to a point where, you know, when we are serving the customer, they want to have uh, real time insights into so many different type of investments they're making in how their, um, you know, investment is growing and how they have to make decisions. Um, <clears throat> so that will drive the customer 360 and a digital access that, um, you, you know, need to be um, really taken as a priority for, uh, for our organization. Um, and how the data is governed is going to be interesting because the data is going to become more and more publicly available. It's just how we are going to um, monetize that data um, to, to make the right, um, you know, investment pitch or um, advisory for, for our client that is unique. In addition to data and data governance, we're looking at it in a different lens, uh, not a little less than monetization, but privacy is a top concern for us right now. And, and it's been coming up in the news as well, if you're following that theme, particularly around um, user tracking uh, in the vein of productivity. And there's lots of you know, sensitivity to what, uh, what we have access to, how we might use that and how it might be conveyed or misconstrued. So um, even things, Jeff, like the polls that we've been doing in, in this Zoom meeting as we've been rolling out polls and webcasts, uh, is how do we make sure it truly is anonymous and that that data doesn't get misused or misrepresented. So that's uh, privacy is, is where we're seeing an additional concern that's mounting to us.